What up everybody, Patchin here. I hope you are having a great time. It is Marvel Monday, so let's just jump into it. Alright, so it was confirmed, I believe the end of last week, middle of last week, that um, Black Widow is still set to come out for... Um, a theatrical release and personally for me I miss <clears throat> I miss going to the movies there ain't nothing better than getting some overpriced popcorn and a big old coke icy and sitting down with the kids and enjoying a great Marvel action movie and because of the way 2020 went uh, I miss the movies. That's probably the one thing that I'm, uh, I've been sad about. The quarantine hasn't been that bad. You know, the job loss and this and that. Like, there's moments that things have happened that was unplanned. But I ain't gonna lie, out of all of it, man, I miss going to the movies, man. It, I got a movie theater right behind my house and Man, there ain't nothing to walk over there on a afternoon with the kids and go check out a movie or go on a Tuesday night where it's five dollar night and catch some you know average movie just to get out of the house for the minute for the minute. So for me, I miss it. Uh, when it comes to Black Widow, um, obviously we didn't get her last year because of quarantine. And they're still pushing for the theatrical release, which I hope. Um, let's see here. Disney CEO Bob Chapek. Cha, cha, I don't know how to say that. Chapek. Hmm. All right. Disney CEO uh, say it's still currently the set in theaters for May 7th is the next uh, high an anticipated spy thriller. I'm hoping that Black Widow has um, a little bit of that uh, Winter Soldier feel with Cap that we had. Um, that's one of my favorite movies and you know kind of had that spy sense to it. Obviously we are getting Taskmaster uh, in it so I think that's going to be um, a, a great just spy versus spy tactical versus tactical um you know this is a movie it's probably overdue especially with the fans and black widow um i would love to see more of her in the future but i'm not sure of the timeline that they that they had this movie uh presented i i would imagine black widow is gonna fall in the area between after Civil War and before Infinity War. I, that's where I'm guessing where this movie's going to fall at in the timeline. All right, so Falcon and Winter Soldier this Friday coming out. This is a series that I'm kind of excited for on a different level just because I'm Team Captain uh, America. I'm curious to see how... Uh, the struggle for the shield is you know I'm hoping this is kind of like a buddy cop movie uh, you know 48 hours tango and cash kind of feel still have that spy element um, I'm very curious to see what they do with Zemo I know at times people's criticized Silver War saying that he wasn't a big villain in Silver War and they should have used them more. But for me, kind of like WandaVision, the Civil War didn't need an actual villain. They, he showed up, he kind of, he kind of started poking out a fire that had been brewing between Iron Man and Cap. And there was a moment where it finally got pushed over the edge. So for me, I want to see more of Zemo. Um, Civil War was probably not the right way to promote him to a certain level because of how big Civil War is as a storyline. And this is why I think it's going to be great for Disney Plus because 
they will be able to go back and take some of these characters and some of these storylines and start fleshing them out even more. So I, I think Zemo is going to be a, a big guy here in the series. Um, I'm not sure how big or bold he's going to be because I would imagine this series is going to have a lot of layers. They're getting over Captain America. Um, there's going to be a fight for the shield. Uh, I would have to take a guess. It's going between Falcon and Winter Soldier, friendly and not friendly. But then at the same time, I think the government is going to be a little bit involved. Um, so it's kind of curious to see where all these pieces fall after Endgame. Uh, and after seeing what they've done with WandaVision, I, I hope this is still has like this spy element, kind of like they had in Captain America Winter Soldier. Um, you know, nothing big over the top. Give us some good action. Give us some fight scenes. Give us some real banter between Falcon and Bucky. Um, you gotta love Anthony Mack and Sebastian. You gotta love them too. And if you are fans of these people, go on YouTube and just look up these guys at Comic Cons. Uh, they have shown up at many cities and they sit on a stage. And man, they will go back and forth just ribbing each other, ragging each other. And so I think their chemistry as friends is going to be great on, on screen. So very curious to how they're going to play that off. And I'm excited. I am love getting something every week from uh, Marvel. And I'm down for this program until they hit the big movies. And, you know, seeing the 8, 9 episode that they could be doing on Disney+, Plus, um, I think that gives them more time to flesh out characters and storylines than, let's say, a two-hour movie. So I'm very excited of getting content once a week from Marvel. And um, I'm all about it. So let's go Falcon and Winter Soldier this Friday. Let's kick it. If you're any... <laughs> I am a huge fan of behind the scenes making um, when it comes to movies and shows. I love the way... I love to watch the way creative people come together. It doesn't matter if you're a director, an actor, special effects. I love watching these people come together. I love watching how they build sets, how they layer special effects. They put a guy in front of a blue screen and then they layer some uh, a background and then they put smoke and then they put fire and then he does something in action and then the camera twirls. I love watching all that. I have been a fan of that since I was a little kid. And anytime I could see how they made something, I was very intrigued. Uh, Marvel looks like they are doing a series called Assembled on Disney+. Plus. Um, they will, I'm guessing, release something after every show, every movie. And I hope they go back and maybe redo some of the other movies because I would love to see more in depth of this um but they just released last weekend the making of wandavision and i truly enjoyed it um spoilers i'm going to talk about the show so if you haven't seen it stop the video go watch it because i don't want to ruin it for nobody but um that was your warning one of the things i loved is you know they filmed the first couple episodes uh, in black and white and to watch the different color tones that they had to use on set to get the right grays uh, you know it's, it's black and white so you got different layers of colors in there so you see more blues and greens on set because when they do the black and white film you'll see the grays hit a little different uh, you know it helps separate all the different let's say fabrics and colors on set and what I thought was especially funny was with Paul Bettany um, he's the purple vision
but the purple don't work well with um, black and white, so they had to paint them blue. You know, and he kind of looks like one of those guys from the Blue Man group. And, you know, and not only did they have to do him that way, but he also didn't have the full armor. So they just really painted his face. So you see the shot of him, blue face, dots all over the place. His ears are sticking out and it looks so weird. But it shows you how far technology has came to where all they need to do is paint his face and put some dots on it and they can handle everything else in post. So that was something that was very intriguing. Um, I love the fact that they embraced the live show on the um, on like the, the first episode, which is kind of like the Dick Van Dyke kind of series. Uh, I love the fact that the cast and crew all dressed up. Um, they had an audience participation in it and you know everybody was just all in just to give a good energy on set and to really build out uh, the story that they were trying to do um, I, I wish they would show some more of the special effects they kind of talked about how they were making all the songs how they were approaching the stories the fun that they were having but Man, I would love to go back and see like some visual effects of the way they did uh, Paul Bettany uh, with the layers of his of his costume, especially when he was fighting White Vision. Because I would love to see how they pulled some of that off. Um, you get little clips here and there, uh, but they don't really show you everything. And um, that's probably something that will come out later. I know sometimes on YouTube you will see. Um, special effects uh, people releasing how they did layers and um, hopefully we'll get to see some of that uh, I I just love seeing people on wires you know doing the stuff they do um, and it's so funny because you always got now you always got some guy in a green suit in the background pulling a cord or doing something to where they can edit him out in the footage but you didn't realize he was there the whole time and just overall, the whole concept of what they did on set, uh, you know, it takes a lot of people and a lot of work just to pull off what they did. And, you know, and sometimes I think it's wrong for us to to be critical of some of these movies and shows because these people are, there's a lot of people doing a lot of work and they are spending a lot of money just to entertain us. So for me as a creative I love seeing it and I want more of it. Sometimes I enjoy the making of a movie more than a movie. Um, so go check it out. It's on Disney plus, uh, it's called a symbol. I believe it's episode one and they got more coming. So if that's something that's up your alley, go check it out. And, uh, let's see anything else really show up. I think that's the only thing that's really happened over the last week. <clears throat> um, let's see. Let's just go ahead and put Marvel News. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so there. Okay. Falcon Winter Soldier. But. Black Widow and anything else really everybody's still coming off of WandaVision okay alright well it looks like that's really all we had within the last week um, so there you go uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier this Friday WandaVision behind the scenes go check it out on Disney Plus and um Let's just have some more fun here in the MCU. So thank you for watching the video. Be cool, be safe, tie your shoes, and always live your passion. Peace.